This is a great topic with uh, anybody who's migrating their infrastructure or their applications into microservice frameworks, or if they have mixed environments, actually. And so uh, the beauty of Vault is that it's uh, both cloud agnostic and sort of application framework agnostic. So um, you're not relying on some kind of a run framework uh, in order to store your secrets. You really have something that could span any types of applications you have. So if you have things that are running on bare metal, that's great. But as you start migrating them into containerized um, sort of microservices, you have a set of challenges that are a little bit different than what you had previously. One of the major issues that you're going to have is scalability. Right? And so the, um, the traditional way of delivering secrets to machines was maybe through something like a configuration management system like Puppet or Ansible. But as we start moving into microservices, it's very possible that those microservices are going to come alive in a variety of different environments and very, very quickly over time and be able to migrate from machine to machine. And so what you really need is you need something that's able to be agile enough to uh, supply you secrets in that kind of environment. And Vault has a very rich API to be able to access things within those environments. But not only that, it has very flexible authentication methods. So if you're running in a Nomad or inside of a Kubernetes, there's direct plugins to allow you to authenticate um, systems with Vault to be able to, um, to retrieve secrets. If you're running inside of clouds, which are very popular these days, so Azure or AWS or GCP for that matter, even Alibaba and Huawei clouds also have plugins to allow you to do automatic authentications into Vault. And so really what you have is this rich framework in which to um, both um, retrieve and store secrets in a, in a very, very easy manner. And so as you start to get to thousands and thousands of microservices that are running, it's very difficult to manage those things by hand. And so having some way of automatically retrieving something through a very high throughput capable API driven system is, uh, is very, very favorable for people in those areas. And Vault is able to answer um, all of those type of requests. One of the other really cool concepts behind Vault is this concept of dynamic secrets. And when we talk about secret sprawl, the ability to have the same username and password distributed out across your fleet really allows an attacker to attack one uh, insecure area and then gain secrets across your entire environment. Dynamic secrets change this paradigm a little bit by actually having each of your endpoints get its own username and password for the entity that you're trying to get access to. And so if somebody were to pivot off from another system and gain access um, to, say, like a um, lessly secured microservice um, but couldn't get access to the rest of them, the beauty is most of these dynamic secrets are time bound and they're easily revocable. So if you notice that there's some kind of a, a, an a issue or some kind of a breach inside your environment, you can revoke one secret while all the rest of your applications actually have other usernames and passwords. And then you don't have to worry about restarting your whole fleet or taking your whole fleet of environments down in that, in that manner. And so it can help mitigate a little bit of risk by spreading out um, the surface area in which your, surf, or which your secrets are actually installed in.